I'm sorry guys. I have to make a video on this. If I don't make a video on this, I am going to kick myself for the rest of the week. Cutter, I'm sorry. This is my first donut operator reaction. But, I, I really think I need to make a reaction to this. Um, and give my opinions on it. Now, I just want to put something out there. I have already seen this video. I know it's not my policy. It is my policy not to watch something that I'm going to react to, but I I thought that maybe I had better watch it and go ahead and get my anger out of the way and, uh, you know, my getting pissed off about it over with. That way I could make this video and stay halfway calm. So. Here's how we're going to do this. As you all know, I am I am in school to be a probation officer. Before that, I was majoring to go to the police academy. Okay. Now, they've explained the procedures to me. Okay, so I can pretty much break down what's going to go in this video. This video is ten minutes long. All right. So, um. I'm going to be honest guys, I'm probably going to get triggered during this, I'm going to do my best, but there's, there's probably going to be a lot of cussing in this fucking video, so, anyway, I'm going to try to keep my composure, I'm going to move my mic right here, and we are going to get into this. Check. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't been excited about making a video in a minute. Hi everyone, Donut here. I've got a very special video for you today. A video involving a very, very angry cop. I am just tickled to be making this. How angry? I guess we'll see in a moment, but first, a word from our sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise. I like their new work earbuds because they're even better at drowning out all those unimportant things in life. Oh, hey, Dad, what's up? Oh, hey, John, what's up? You are! Ah! Are you gonna get out? Ah! Ah! <laughs> they could hear this. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash operator work to I'm sorry, guys. That was just a sponsorship, and I'm 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 not here to waste your all's time, so I skip forward. You get 15% off your Raycon purchase. The video that we're gonna break down today was put up by a random bystander. It is entitled "Cop Harassment." It starts off with a very angry crowd, super angry. I wonder if there are any angry cops there. Also, let's look at the comments. Dang. And guys, I already know angry cops is in this video. Like I said, I've already seen it, but. Uh, I'm sorry if y'all get mad at me because I already watched it. Oh, I'm sorry. I I felt like it was necessary so that I wouldn't lose my mind on camera. So get out of here. Anyway, we going to have to start wearing body cams. That's effed up. Unbelievable. Playing football got blitzed by the boys. Yo, WTF? At first I was like WTV until they tried to punch everyone that out that wasn't even doing anything. They wanted stuff to pop off so they could do some extra stuff dang you know how many days and nights y'all just ruined sorry y'all had to go through this bs rights were not read to any of them sending protection for all involved get them badge number okay first off i don't know how, how it isn't i don't know how it is other than any place in tennessee but in tennessee okay i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly don't quote me on any of this but from what i remember unless you are going to question someone about a crime no 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 that's not right if you're um i think there is some certain i, I can't remember exactly but I, i'm pretty sure there is a certain circumstance in which you don't have to mirandize somebody that's reading the miranda rights that's what we refer to it as is mirandizing someone there is certain things in Tennessee where you don't have to Mirandize people. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but from what I remember, I'm pretty sure that's right. That's called abusing of authority. <laughs> that Bro, you people can't even spell right. Do you understand do you understand why people don't take you seriously now? 
Do you? I hope you do. Oh, dude said hovercraft. <laughs> that Where was pretty fun. The f the licks at have them violate pig emoji. Anyways, you get the idea that there are a lot of upset people in these comments, and for good reason. Excuse the bleeps that you're about to hear. Uh, they say the N-word with a soft A about 37 times in the first 10 seconds, and it continues throughout the video, so you're going to hear a lot of dolphin mating. Right, bro. He said as an investigation. That's what they I want to point something out here. See this dude in the blue pants right here? Okay, he's going to end up being a troublemaker. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and point that out. It's a our extremely intelligent cameraman is correct. There is an investigation taking place. We'll talk about that. Yeah, they're conducting an investigation. You can usually tell that by the fact that, uh, oh, I don't know, the blue lights are on. And also the fact that there is, like, a gazillion fucking cops there. How hard is this, folks? later though. Obviously from what the title says this is just cop harassment. They are there for no reason other than to harass these poor innocent just like angry cops said it, when you it, you can do literally anything in this world but once you put a police badge on you're a bootlicker piece of shit. Now this is from the perception of Antifa Black Lives Matter and stuff like that you're automatically a bootlicker piece of shit that is put there specifically to harass a certain portion of the population and that's that's not true they're there to enforce the law if we weren't if they weren't here we would fall into anarchy and chaos so you know I like this country the way it is and you know not the way it is right now but I, I'm gonna love this country whether it comes to that or not. And I'm sorry. If y'all come to my house, y'all ain't gonna like what you get. You ain't gonna like it. I promise. Didn't commit an armed robbery on a very busy dope boy corner. Children. Just innocent kids. Not... They, they was the ones f***ing flying that f***ing hovercraft over all day, man. Notice this guy just said hovercraft. It's called a helicopter, dumbass. You fucking jagaloon. <clears throat> God. This is why people don't take y'all seriously. You do realize that, right? You can't talk plain. Okay. You don't know what you're saying, first off. You don't know what you're talking about, and you can't even put it into the correct words. Now, some might make the argument, oh, it's because he's so riled up. No. Trust me. Y'all have never seen me pissed off, but ask anybody that's around me that has seen me pissed off, which is only one person, and that's my buddy that I'm going to have on here, um, Coleman. Dude, the matter I get, the plainer my English gets. Okay? Like, if you want to see me go from hillbilly to Yankee, watch me get mad. Seriously. You see how my you see how my accent is sort of going away now? It's because I'm kinda riled up. So Oh, this pisses me off. The too fast. They had the, they had the hovercraft out here on boys. What a stupid pig cop thing to do, flying a hovercraft over these innocent children <laughs> who didn't that. do anything wrong. This is playing catch with the football. They wouldn't arrest them if they were just out in the street playing with a football. The most they'd do is flip the lights at them just a little bit and say, hey, get out of the damn road. If they were just out there passing a football in the street, okay? They weren't doing that. They robbed a convenience store, came home, thought they got away with it, and then started playing football. Don't give me that shit. Trust me, I read the article. These cops are just rolling up on innocent kids not doing anything. 
playing football in the streets because the internet never lies. Hey, no. Undercover right there. Undercover. Okay, I'm assuming he's talking about this girl right here. Okay. Very obviously, she is not undercover, good sir. Um, because of the fact of, oh, I don't know, she's got her fucking duty belt on. And a black t-shirt and black pants and and her combat boots on oh no I bet she's just a night watchman at the fucking Smithsonian she's been Stiller's replacement no you fucking jerk off she's obviously a police officer and not to mention what in the hell do you think what does that say right there Buffalo police serving the community Donut operators are going to touch on that in just a second. But guys, oh god, I don't see it. How are y'all this dumb? Seriously, if you're going to say something stupid, don't say it at all. I don't. I, I don't think it should be. If you're if you're not going to say something nice, don't say nothing at all. I think it should be if you're if you don't know what you're talking about and you're about to say something stupid, don't say it at all. That's what it should be. Because it would protect you all from being labeled as a dumbass. Seriously. That's all you have to do. Keep your mouth shut. If you don't know what you're talking about, shut the fuck up. And don't talk. It's simple. Definitely undercover. Look at all the undercoverness going on. Undercover. Who would ever guess that was the police? super undercover so deep undercover they had buffalo police on the side of their cars we can't be a couple of hispanics playing football wow. <laughs> that's wild man hispanic lives matter too exactly right why can't you be a couple hispanic children playing football without being harassed by these mean old pigs we're gonna believe everything the guy filming is saying because internet, even the hovercrafts. They had the hovercraft all your own boys. Yeah. They definitely exist. <laughs> hey. Yo, what you doing, my little hold up, hold up, hold up. There he is. There he is. Guys, if you don't know, I love angry cops. Um, I'm I'm not anywhere near. And I ne I'll. I don't want to say. I respect the hell out of the military. That's one reason I watch his channel. I respect the hell out of the military. I support the troops. I support the police officers. I support public service. Firefighters, EMS, everything. And I respect the hell out of this man for what he does. And I respect the troops for what they do. Because you know what? If, if it weren't for them, I'm almost certain that America would be very different so if you don't like it get off my channel but till the day I'm dead I'll support them that cop looks so familiar He's so angry, like I've seen him in videos before, maybe. Weird. I just want to point something out. You guys are just arresting little kids right now. I want you to... Okay, I'll let Donut say it. Hold on. This what y'all doing, you? Arresting little kids with a beard. Little kid beards who look like grown at... If you're old enough to grow that beard, boy... And that homeless man haircut. You're old enough to know better. You're old enough to know better than to steal. You are old enough to know better. Men. He is a grown ass man. He he's I'm gonna say he's at least fifteen or sixteen. 
my guess is about 19 or 20 but he's at least 15 so don't don't say they're arresting little kids all right if you're if you're mad enough to grow that beard you're mad enough to say hey I probably shouldn't be doing stupid shit probably shouldn't steal probably shouldn't try to kill people and probably shouldn't pull a gun on somebody unless I'm defending myself how hard is that guys it's not that hard to decipher what you you gonna get mad at me because I know my shit thank God an angry screaming lady showed up just like in hold on is that his mother I'm not sure I don't know who she is. Every single police incident you've ever seen on video. Wait, what that cop say? He's going to jail for robbery with a firearm. If you don't know, that's illegal as fuck some of y'all man he probably lying darn old lying pigs lying angry cop pigs at around this point we got a whole crowd of people now trying to seek justice for an innocent child they even try to unarrest this poor innocent child by opening the back door of the police car to let him out the good for nothing coppers try to stop them from unarresting this innocent child the officer right here starts taking down the suspect who tried to unarrest the poor juvenile fight breaks out and the crowd starts interfering with the arrest. That's when the commander in pig shows up. <laughs> oh, there's no such thing as the force of gravity. <laughs> I might know why that cop. I love that part. I love that part. I was waiting on it. Uh, yeah. Oh God. When you start fighting back against police, that big no-no. Big big no-no. Uh, because here's the thing, they can call backup, and they don't get that duty belt to carry toys that's to most of that is to help them get you under control or to communicate okay they they do this on a daily basis they're heavily trained to do to use everything on that belt and to do whatever's necessary to get you in that car you're not gonna win I mean, even if you shoot and kill a police officer, which I do not condone, in the end, you're not going to win. You know? And I, that may make some people mad. I don't care. Okay? It, you cannot plead your case from inside a pine box under six feet of dirt okay if they're wrong take it to court okay take it to court that's my biggest advice is take it to court it's that simple guys all you have to do is have your case heard by a judge or jury and they will decide what is right in their mind okay that's all you have to do sure it's gonna cost you some money more than likely but 
if it really means that much to you, the money's not going to matter. So, anyway, let's continue. Looks so familiar. Let's pull out the super high-tech FBI, NSA, NASA, CIA, crime software. Enhance. 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 <laughs> I love how he does this. Mother of God. Damn, Rich, what you been up to? Beating up kids for no reason, apparently. <laughs> Just kidding. What had happened was there was an armed robbery and Rich was arresting the suspects from the armed robbery. I, I want to point that out. You see what he said? He said, suspects. Okay. If y'all don't know, you dumbasses. Okay. A suspect is someone who they think has done it hasn't been convicted yet okay so no matter how small the chance is that you may get proven innocent there is that possibility at that point you are a suspect you are not the person it has not been proven that you are the person that committed the crime okay so what y'all need to do is calm your tits Put your hands behind your back and be nice and be courteous. Yes, sir. No, sir. You know what I was taught? Talk to a cop like they're your grandpa. Or grandma, if it's a female. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. How hard is that? Put your hands behind your back. Okay. I don't give a shit. How hard is this, guys? What, you want to stay home and smoke you a little weed? Okay, it's not worth it. Alright? Wait till you get out of jail. I mean, come on guys. It's not that hard. So what if you spend a couple days in jail and you get proven innocent? Okay, cool. You can't blame them for that. You can't blame someone else for I've heard this happening is someone looking very similar to someone or in a similar vehicle or something of that nature and getting arrested because they were a suspect okay and they get released because they are innocent okay just let them do their job let them do their job that's all you gotta do They're human. They're going to make mistakes. Okay? They're no better than you and our, you or I. Okay? It... If you just let them do their job, everything will be cool. Okay? It's very easy. It definitely wasn't kids just playing football, even though there is a football in the video. You think they're like, hey, go grab the football. There's an arrest taking place. We're going to try to spin this on the internet. No way. Definitely wasn't harassing random people, just like six Buffalo cops pulling up and, you know, that happens. This was actually some super serious felonious doo-doo. Someone pulled a gun on someone and tried to rob them, and this was... Okay, now you see how this dude's on the ground now? This guy right here. Okay, what he should have done is just laid down on his stomach. Put his hands behind his back and let the cops do what they was going to do. But watch what he does. Watch the, watch the dude in the blue pants here. What's the result? See there? He gets up and runs back to the cops and tries to square up with them. Okay? He had intentions of fighting. You know what that's also called? Resisting arrest for one. Assault to a police officer for two. Okay? Now watch. Look at this shit! Look at this shit! Then you just get rich doing his job trying to protect- Okay, now watch. You see, he's resisting. This is why they need one 
two, three. Angry Cops is right here, just in the middle, okay? He is resisting, okay? He's squirming around. He is not cooperating in any way. This is why they need more than one officer, okay? Now just pay attention. People in, you know, hump checking people into space. Okay, then that, now that little knee move right there, I'll get into that in a minute. Okay, now I don't think he was meaning to knee him in the head, okay? What I think he was trying to do, okay? If you don't know, alright, if I've, if I've got my hands under me like this, right? If he's trying to knee him in the neck, more than likely, he's trying to hit this nerve right here in your traps, or he's trying to get this, this nerve over here that's in the back of your arm or on the side of your arm. I can't remember exactly where it's at, but it's somewhere in there. There's a nerve in the back of your arm that'll make it that'll make your arm jolt and relax for just a second to where they can pull it back behind you. Okay? Now that that's not with malicious intent, he's not trying to break bones or anything like that. What that's what I think he was trying to do, and I think he was missing and hit him in the hitting him in the head. Now that's what I think he's doing. But I have heard of this happening is um just a like I'll provide this for an example. It when when I owned a horse, okay. When when I would put the saddle on him, if equestrians, y'all know what I'm talking about, or horse riders, period, y'all know what I'm talking about. The belly strap that goes up and under your saddle, okay. What do you do if they've got a full breath of air, okay? What do you do? What I always did if he if he breathed in right before I pulled the before I pulled the belly strap up, I'd knee him in the ribs and make him go like that and just sort of relax his stomach a little bit to where it'd shrink down a bit. That way I could cinch it up just a bit more. Okay? That's... He's he's getting his muscles to where they'll, you know, he's trying to get him to jolt or relax or something like that to where he can move him around to where he can get his hands behind his back. That's all he's doing. He's not doing it to hurt him. So... And if you can't handle a couple knees to the shoulder, there's something wrong with you. What do you call that move, Rich? Super hump? A big old belly belly bump? The hip check to end all hip checks, perhaps. What Rich saw from his point of view was a person who allegedly committed an armed robbery being taken away in a police car and people interfering with that arrest, so he intervened for his officer's safety. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't know, he's he's a supervisor, and uh, Richard Hyde, the guy he's talking about, um, angry cops. He he's a supervisor. Okay, he's responsible for everybody in this picture. Okay, he's a supervisor. I think if I remember correctly, but these are all. You 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 notice how everybody else around here is in Chargers, and he's in an SUV. That's that's because he's a supervisor, okay? And guys, you have to realize that if something happens to this officer, to any of these officers, it's gonna it's gonna give him some backlash, okay? So he has to step in. Now see, obviously we've already made a process. Look at this shit! Look at this shit! Look at this! Hold on, guys. I think somebody's hollering at me. Shit! The saddest part of this video, though, was right here. Look at this shit! Yo, get off his neck! Yo, get off his neck! Okay, now that uh, that this officer over here did have his knee on his head, on the side of his head, um. I, I think that was just misplacement of the knee because he didn't leave it there purposely. So let's continue. Completely off topic. You on his neck? Yo, get the f off his. Oh, you thought I was talking. He has got his knee right here. Okay, it's not on his neck. All right, if it was on his neck, it'd be up here. Okay, he is beside of his head and neck. Okay, he's not on his neck. Talking about the fight, those Oakleys probably got stepped on. Because life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. 
How do I know this? I don't, but I'm making sound, and that's the important thing. F in chat for those Oakleys. The f off his neck! Back up! This shit all online! This shit all online! I'm really. Yeah, and you're a, you're an idiot. <laughs> I guarantee you, this dude supports defund the police. Guaranteed. But anyway. Really glad this is all online, like our genius cameraman said, so that we can watch the entire video and see that Rich wasn't actually on anyone's neck the whole time. Get off his fucking neck! Back up! I'm just tripping! I don't think they're tripping, but your boy got tripped into space. <laughs> and that's pretty much the whole video. Some dudes did some felonies, and Rich came in and arrested them with his boys. Maybe if they had Raycon earbuds, they wouldn't be so angry all the time. <laughs> Check out my merch at Bunker Branding. Check out my second channel, Donut Vloggerator. And until next time, have a fantastic day. Whacker. Okay. Like I said, if I didn't make a video on this, I'd be kicking myself for the rest of the week. So, I... Guys, y'all, just let them do their job. It's all you have to do. If you just take it easy, be polite, and let them do their job, and if they're wrong, take them to court over it. Okay? Take them to court over it. Alright? And everybody that sits here and acts entitled, like the dude that recorded this video was, well, I wouldn't really say he was acting entitled, but he was being a jackass. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be nice people. You know? So, I'm going to get out of here, and uh, we will see y'all in the next one. See you.